وفلر دے قطع متجاورات ہن اینڈ یو فائنڈ ان دی لینڈ ان دی ارتھ دیر آر پلاٹس ایٹ جوائننگ ٹریکس قطع متجاورات ہن ایٹ جوائننگ ٹریکس و جنات میں نا ناب ان دیر آر گارڈنس آف دی آف گریپس و زرعن اینڈ دیر آر دی کارن فیلڈس و نخیل اینڈ دیر آر دی ڈیٹ پامس سنوان وغیرہ سنوان and these date palms you find clustered also and in single positions also yuska bi mai wahid they are all irrigated with the same water wa nufazzilu ba'dah ala ba'din fi lokul and we make superior some of them over the others in the taste the same tract of land the same water you know it is irrigating them but you know the dates of this tree are a different taste and the dates coming from this tree they have they have a different taste in nafizalika la ayati liqaumi yaatilun in this there are signs for those people who use their senses use their intellect now this diversity you know diversity of his creation this also is a very big sign of the creative power of allah subhanahu wa taala not that he can create only one thing or two things or three things you know diversity you find there is no monotony in the creation of allah subhanahu wa taala diversity of every kind now this is the <coughs> concluding aya wa in tajab fajabun qaluhum now if you have to wonder then the wondrous thing is that they are saying what they are saying iza kunna turaban ayna li fi khalqin jadid when we shall be reduced to dust when oh then we will be resurrected and created a new this is you know the, this saying of theirs is actually if you want to wonder this is wondrous because if you see the whole of the universe one who believes that we are we will be resurrected it's nothing because if allah could create everything and he is controlling the all the universe he can create but actually if you have to doubt that you doubt their saying they are saying is illogical whatever they are saying it's absolutely irrational not believing in resurrection but reject rejecting the possibility of resurrection that is illogical ulaika alladhina kafaru bi rabbihim they are the people who have disbelieved their lord when they say there can be no resurrection what does it mean they don't believe in the omnipotence of allah subhanahu wa taala they don't believe that allah is allah kulli shay'in qadir so actually they are not rejecting the idea of resurrection they are rejecting the attribute of allah subhanahu wa taala ulaika alladhina kafaru bi rabbihim wa ulaika alaghlal fi anaqihim and there are iron chains binding their hands to their necks wa ulaika ashabun nar and they are the people of the fire hum fiha khalidun and they will dwell it in it forever wa yastajinun bi sayyiati qabl al hasana now as i have been reading you know many times they used to say okay o oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now bring that chastisement we are fed up of hearing these threats from you and these people are ask you o oh prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to hasten on the evil before the good qabl al hasana wa qad khalaq min qablihim al musallat so many exemplary punishments came to the peoples living in this very peninsula they know it what happened to ad and sabud they were the people of the same land بین رب کا لذو مغفرت للناس على ظلمهم بٹ یور لارڈ از فرگیونگ فار دی پیپل ڈسپائٹ देयर سنز اینڈ ایول ڈوئنگز اف ہی از ناٹ سینڈنگ دی فائنل ججمنٹ اف ہی از ناٹ سینڈنگ دی فائنل چیسٹسمنٹ اف ہی از ناٹ شوئنگ اینی فزیکل سائن اینڈ میریکل اٹ از ایکچولی دی مرسی اف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہی وانٹس ٹو گیو دیم مور ریسپائٹ or oh, they you know they people they want that the the azab should come and the punishment should come wa inna rabbaka la shadidu liqab and verily your lord it's very severe in retribution and punishment wa yaqulu alladhina kafaru law la unzila alayhi aya the same thing and these people who disbelieve they say why has not been any sign any visible miracle sent on him mir rabbihi from his lord inna ma anta munzirun wa li kulli qaumin haad Oh Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you are only a warner and for every nation we have been sending guides this is very important that i have told you the, this ayah again must be remembered to every nation wale kulli qaumin 
which we have been sending people who guided people to the right way but only the history of the arabian peninsula and you know the middle east that has been repeated in the quran several times because this was known to those people who were the first addressees of the quran otherwise they should have been taught geography and history and then you know the names of the other messengers of allah and other other prophets could be given there allah ya'lamu ma tahmilu kullu unsa allah very well knows what every female is carrying carrying in her womb wa ma taghizu al arham wa ma tasdad and with what their wombs contract and dilate you know these wombs of women you know they are contracting after they have given birth to the child they become very small but as you know this fetus is developing in it they dilate go on dilating the dilating so allah knows it when the womb is contracting when the womb is dilating allah ya'lamu ma tahmilu kullu unsa wa ma taghizu al arham wa ma tasdad wa kullu shay'in indahu bi miqdar and everything is with him according to a mayor everything is measured it's nothing haphazard which is happening neither the contraction of the wombs of the uterus is is haphazard nor its dilatation is haphazard it's all ordained it's all physiology the laws of physiology are governing them alim al ghaib wa al shahada he is the knower of the seen as well as the unseen al kabir al mutaal he is the exalted one and he is the great mutaal and exalted you know this kabir and we have one of the names of allah subhanahu al mutakabbir al malikul quddus al salam al mu'min al muhamin al aziz al jabbar al mutakabbir he is mutakabbir now this word mutakabbir it's not used in a good sense for for if you say that person is mutakabbir you know it's not in a good sense but allah to to him it suits 100% applicable al mutakabbir so he is kabir he is mutaal sawaa min kum man asra al qala wa min jahara bihi it's absolutely equal whether someone of you conceals what he is saying saying you know in very low voice or he declares it openly wa man huwa mustaqfim bil layl wa sarib min nahar and one who and the one who is hiding during the night and the one who goes freely by the day but what does it mean everything is in the knowledge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lahu muqibatun min mani yadayhi and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has appointed in succession in shifts the attendants bana yadayhi wa min khalfi whoever is going out he has the guards before him also and behind him also yahfuzunahu min amrillah and they are guarding him from divine command from the command of allah well the time of his death has not come as yet you have to guard him these bodyguards are with us actually none of us need any bodyguards when that appointed time of death comes no bodyguards can save you and till that time that that appointed time has not come you know nobody can kill you so it's absolutely useless to have bodyguards and we read you know in surah al anam aya number 61 yursilu alaykum hafaza he sends on you the guards you know they guard you they keep guarding you they don't let you die before that appointed time comes inna allah la yughayyiru ma bi qaumin hatta yughayyiru ma bi anfusihim now this is a very big and very fundamental principle of sociology verily allah doesn't change the conditions of a nation unless they change the conditions of their souls if you are good from within you will have good conditions if you are yourself bad in intentions and in your your souls then something bad will come to you if you want to change your conditions because if you are down trodden it is because you know something was wrong in your souls you know these colonial powers couldn't you know rule us unless we were not weak from within if we had iman in us they couldn't capture us and conquer us because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in quran clearly antumul alauna in kuntum mu'minin you will remain supreme and the highest only if you remain mu'min but when we our iman became weak well you know just as we find you know when the resistance goes down 
now all the bacteria can have an effect that can attack you but because of the lowing because your own resistance have gone down has been lowered so actually when iman goes off then the nation the community that becomes downtrodden so that is it and now you want that the condition should change but you are not thinking of changing you yourselves unless the condition within you these change the conditions you know you which you are experiencing outside they can never be changed in allah la yughayyiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayyiru ma bi anfusihim there is a very beautiful couplet in urdu khuda ne aaj tak us qaum ki halat nahi badli na ho jisko khayal aap aap apni halat ke badalne ka you have to change yourself first then the condition will be changed wa idha arad allah bi qawmin su'an la fala marad lahu wa wa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he decides for some community something bad some punishment now there is none who can turn it back wa ma lahum min dunillahi wal and there is none except allah who can protect them 